All right, Shalom Makim, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and pleasure to you brothers out there doing the work in true sincerity. All right, I just wanted to do a video, um, quick lesson about a, about a hell, you know, and, and what is hell, but more so for the brothers that are in the know, we know that hell is a condition played on the planet Earth, all right? And then, when you, and then also hell, when it's referring to the scriptures, it talks about uh, the grave or the pit, all right? Your body, which is the ground when you die and, you're, and you get buried, that's hell also, all right? But for, for the, what I want to highlight in this video is that hell was a condition played out on earth. Moreover, we, we are in hell, as the Israelites, the Israelites are in hell, all right? Now the Most High, he's going to actually cast hell, uh, he's going to cast hell into the lake of fire, all right? And, and, and the lake of fire is talking about when America is destroyed. And now this is very uh, significant for us because once hell is cast, death and hell is cast into the lake of fire, that's when we are going to receive our kingdom. And and we know that, you know, brothers, um, you know, you always talk about catching hell. And that's what this truth is about. It's actually about catching hell. So the Most High, he can uh, purge you from your ways. Also that we, we, we are here as, a, uh, as a, a prison sentence. Okay, a prison sentence from going off and worshiping other gods, all right, and, and not going according to the Lord, all right, in the, in the scriptures, all right, the scriptures expressly tell you, Yahweh Bashem Shai told the Israelites that, look, if you keep all my laws, all right, if you keep all my laws, that your commandments, I'm going to set you high above all the nations. Now, we are in this, we are in this current state because we did not follow the law, statutes, commandments of the Lord, which was all set up through the spirit in order for us to inherit this kingdom. Now, I just want to highlight on this scripture about the walk that we have going through hell that the most high, he's going to, he's going to wipe that away. All right. He's going to wipe all the pain, all the sorrow away from your eyes. And we are no longer being hell, man. We will no longer have to work, get up and work for this, this devil, the so-called white man. We will no longer have anxiety and stress and worry and worrying about uh, this and that, that and this, a bill or even, or even demons coming into your head. All right. Messing with you. Cause that's really what it is. It's the spirits that are in your head uh, messing with you, all right? And then we're in these weak bodies, okay? We're in these weak bodies, we're gonna get new bodies. So all the hell and pain that we have suffered, all right, the most high, one, in, in one hour, in one day, the Lord is gonna actually fully change that, all right? He's gonna rain fire and that death and hell is gonna be is gonna be cast into the lake of fire because it's gonna be no more, all right? This is gonna be our, the end of our captivity, all right? Because the, the one third, the one third of, of, of you Israelites, which are the, the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, all right, there's going to be, there's going to be a, a change, all right? We're going, to, we're going to be changed in one hour. That's how quick that we're going to be changed, even though these hundreds of years that we've been here in America serving captivity, all right, in the different islands, or oh, even over there in Europe, okay? We got our land and our, and our, and our heritage taken away from us. The Most High is going to give us all that back, plus a thousandfold in the kingdom of heaven, and we will no longer have to go through this hell. All right, so let me go right into the scriptures. So, so this is uh, this is Revelation 20 and 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. All right, so the second death is when what happened was Johnny saw this vision, okay? He saw the vision of America, okay? The land, the whole landmass of America, on fire, okay? So so in his mind, okay, in, in a term that he used in that time, he said he saw a lake of fire. So the lake of fire is not talking about when you die and then you go into uh, the, the ground or where you have Satan there, the devil, okay? This which, this is all make-believe, okay? This is all, this is all dogma, all right, all right? That's all created. There's no such thing as hell where you burn forever. First and foremost, a spirit can't burn. A spirit is pure energy. It's pure fire. Okay. So look, John, he saw this image, and he, and he saw he saw a, a nuclear missiles drop on America for America's wickedness. All right. And he said death and hell were swallowed up. All right, because death. We're so once we are we are changed, we're not gonna we're not gonna die. Okay, because we're not gonna commit sin. Okay, and the wages of sin is death. So if you commit sin, all right, there's certain sins 
that are, that are um are are that you have to be put to death for. All right, even the thought of folly is wickedness. So we're in these total uh, uh we're in these bodies susceptible to these spirits are to mess with us. But once John saw this this nuclear fire rain down on, on America. And he saw that he called it the lake of fire. He said death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. So death we will no longer die because we will be fully righteous. Also, the hell that we catch, we will no longer have to be put through that purification stage. Okay, all the um, all the, uh, the sufferings that we have to go through. All right, your back hurt. You have migraine headaches. No matter how many how much uh, uh, supplements you take, your body can't come back into its... Uh, uh, it's full strength, all right? Like I said, you're susceptible to spirits coming into your mind, messing with you, all right? Um, telling you to go off, all right? Your body's very weak. You have uh, muscle aches and cramps, all right? You, your kidney might go out, all right? A lot, of, a lot of different things can happen, all right? You can get a cavity, okay? You get an earache, you get stung by a bee, all right? So a lot of different things can happen to you in, in these bodies, you know? You have to, you have to be subject to payments, Okay, you, you might work 10, 12 hour days, all right, and commute two hour days, and you got to give your money back to the so-called white man. Okay, and then anytime you want to go and do something, all right, it costs you money. All right, if you want to travel, it costs you money. If you want a car, it costs you money, and you have to keep up on that registration. You have to keep up on your license, okay? You have to pay your, you have to make sure you pay your taxes, Okay. And so-called white man's not going to tell you how to get all the de deductions like the, the elite and the rich do. Or he's going to keep you at a minimum deduction so he can have more money for you, man. Have more money from you. Take it from you. All right? You're, you're, you're uh, uh, wholly oppressed. All right? You're not being called by your true nationality. You're, you're not being called an Israelite. Are right? you, you look down upon. You look down upon. You're called a, 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 a nigga. You're called a spick. You call a, a no good Indian, a savage. Right, you're not being called by Gad. You're not being called by Reuben. You're not being called by Benjamin, okay, in the Hebrew. You're not even being acknowledged as the people of God. You're being acknowledged as three-fifths of a man, a savage, a monkey, a gorilla, a coon, okay, less than nothing, a slave. All right, so that's hell. That plays on your, your mind frame. And two-thirds of our people have been captured by that witchcraft of the so-called white man, that Jim Crow, okay, where you're nothing, where your skin is ugly, all right, the the face of beauty is a is a so-called white woman or a so-called a white man, all right. You're not the face of beauty. It's it's uh it's uh it's bad to be black, all right. You you you're ill spoken of, all right. So that's hell, man. That that right there in your mind when you go into a store and people are looking at you all crazy, or you might come into a a neighborhood. Where it's pre predominantly another nation, Esau, the so-called white man, it can be Moab, it can be Ammon, it can be Ishmael, it can be Ham, man. And, and, and so-called, we're all black people, right? You can go into a, a Hamitic a African store, or you can go to an African market, or somewhere where it's predominantly African in a community, and they're gonna look down upon you, man. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna uh, uh, abhor you. All right, and if you do buy something from them, they they're in their mind they call you all type of all type of names, man. This low good dirty nigga, nigger, all you lazy blacks, you dirty Mexicans. You know this is what they're that's what this is what they're saying in their mind. And sometimes they don't even want your money, man. All right, or they think you're gonna steal. So this is hell that plays on our on our minds all day as an Israelite. And we know I'm talking about the men that are actually sighing and crying. All right, because this witchcraft and this hatred has taken our people and have brought them into a low state. And now they think of themselves as lower than what the so-called white man thinks of them. They, they, they think of themselves the same thing that the so-called white men and other nations think. Oh, I'm, 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 a, um, I'm nothing. That's why they'll destroy their bodies. That's why they'll tap two of their face. Because they have, no, they have no love for themselves. They don't even know where they came from. All, right? all they've been told is that they're a slave. OK, so so when so when all this is done away with. All right. We're not going to have to worry about that no more. All right. Let me. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to bring out a scripture because we know that. There's always there's a. Uh, so I can make sure the video stays on.
we know that that uh this hell man is 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 raining down on us you know and and it and it and it's and it's in our spirit you know because we see our people and we are we see our people all messed up but we have to know that the lord he's not going to leave us in that state all right he's not going to leave us in that state he's going to bring us out of that state man very soon we're at we're at the brinks of the lord bringing us up and and, and making us into a great nation this is uh, Matthew 11 and 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. And the violence taketh by force. All right, so the kingdom of heaven, which is talking about the nation of Israel. All right, that's the kingdom of heaven first. Because you, can have, you, you can't have the kingdom without the people. Okay, so the kingdom of heaven is the people before it's the place. Because anywhere we go, that's going to be the kingdom of heaven because in the in the in the in the blessings, whatever we put our hand into, it's going to it's going to prosper. All right. So if you're you're somewhere else on the other side of the of the world, okay, and you want to open up a business, the Most High is going to bless that business in the kingdom of heaven. All right. For but for right now, the kingdom of high, high, uh, heaven suffered violence. The nation of Israel suffered violence. Okay, uh, black on black crime. Uh, uh, Hispanic on Hispanic crime, all right. There's 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 many divisions amongst our people, even within the same tribe, all right. Because because of Jake's wickedness, man. Because of Jake's wickedness, um. And I'm going to let me go to a real a quick scripture, real quick. Because of Jake's wickedness, this is what the Most High has done, all right. But just highlighting back on hell, I don't want to get off the point. You know, the Most High, he's not going to leave us in that state, all right? That, that's going to be swallowed up. All the pains that we have to go through, we, we got we to gotta, um, uh, put up with the fake news. We got to put up with the so-called white man and his homosexual agenda, all right? His, his transsexual agenda, his, uh, his AI, all right? And, and he's going to bring that chip, all right? And more turmoil is going to come. All right, we got to put up with all this, man. We got to go out and watch, and look at Chinese, man. They got they serving your food. All right, no telling what they've done in the back. All right, no telling telling what these people do. All right, this is modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. This is pure hell. Okay, but the Most High, He's going to take us out of this hell, man. All right. This is Zephaniah three and one. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted, to the oppressing city. All right, so we're, we're catching hell because we were polluted, man. We polluted, the Most High, he polluted his inheritance, all right? The Most High did it because we were filthy. We went off on the law, statute, commandments, so now we're in hell, man. Now we got to deal with it, all right? So you just got to deal with it, all right? You got you to gotta deal with Esau's agendas, all right? You got to maintain your integrity, all right? You got to keep, you got to go out there and prophesy, man. You got to stand upon your watch, and you got to go to work, and you got to pay Esau, Okay, and you got to get things done around the house. You got to run errands. You got to pay bills. All right, you got to do all that, man. All right. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. She trusted not in the Lord. She drew not to her. She drew not near to her God. Yeah, that's right. We, uh, as a nation, we all went into captivity because we all went off, man. Her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are uh, evening wolves. They nod not at the bone till the marrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her peace, her uh, priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence in the law. You know, the, the just Lord is in the midst thereof and he will not do iniquity. Every morning does he bring his judgment to light. He fell of not, but he, but the unjo unjust, no, no shame, no of no shame. That's right. So the most high, he's the one who did this. Because of our transgression. So that's why we're in we're in this hell. But the most high, he left a, a remnant that's gonna um he left a remnant that's not going to uh uh it's not gonna adhere to the ways of America. All right. At that same time, we gotta go through this hell, man. You know, we we have to go through it, you know. We we just gotta deal with it. All right, because the Lord, he's bringing us through the fire. All right, and the, and then one hour the Lord's gonna cast death and hell. We don't, we're not going to have to worry about a thing, brothers, you know? We're not going to have to worry about a thing. Are you going to wake up in peace? You're going to go to sleep in peace. 
All right. You're not going to have to worry about your daughter being a whore in the streets or your son being a, a, a drug dealer. All right. Or even if he's going to make it to the age 18. Are you not going to have the word? Oh, I got to send my kids to college. Dang, that's going to be done away with, man. Right. You're not going to have to worry about your 401k if it's still there in the next five years. Or you don't have to worry about a war, man. You're not going to have to worry about you getting taken over or you going into slavery. So we're not going to have to worry about hell anymore. Hell is hell. The 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 press the oppression hell. That's not that's going to be done away with, man. Because we're not going to oppress. We're not going to be oppressed. We're going to be oppressing the other nations. All right. According to the scriptures, man, this is what the scriptures say. All right. <laughs> I'm not I'm not making this up. This is actually what the scriptures say. Let me. Uh, yeah, I was done on that. Let me go to just to prove again that the Lord, he's the one who put us through this hell, man. So at, by default, hey, amen, we got to deal with it. You know, that's just what it is. You got to deal with your back hurting. You got to deal with eating a uh, defiled food. You know, you do it to the best of your ability. All right. But this is this is the Lord's determination to to bring us through this fire, man. It's going to bring so much glory to his name that he that we were able to make it through America. Because it says, what does it say? The scriptures say, if all be possible, they shall uh, fool the very elect, man. Right. If all be possible. And also, if um, pretty much if, if this was to continue. No flesh shall be saved, but for the elect's sake. So this going to it's going to get really bad out here, and it's going to be so much glory that the Lord is going to be the one who saves you through this. All right, you're not going to save yourself. Hold on, man. Let me get. It. I got it. I got it. <coughs> Make sure I got the right scripture. All right. All right. This is Isaiah 42 and 24. Woe, who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? For they would have, for they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his laws therefore he has poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle and it has set him on fire round about yet he knew not and it burned him yet it laid yet he laid it not to to heart yeah so the lord is the one that put us through this uh through this hell man you know he he uh he's the one who gave us up to the, the so-called white man but but the lord he's gonna uh bring us out of that man that's the beautiful thing about it you know and then we're going to receive an even better even uh, even better reward you know we're going to receive the reward that we're that we're that we were promised let me let me bring out the scripture this is a uh, zachariah Zechariah um, 13 11 and I will bring the third part through the fire right like this the scriptures say that that uh death and hell will cast into the lake of fire that's the fire that is talking about how the Lord he's going to bring that third part through the fire when when the Lord comes back in the in the chariots all right the the elect are going to get redeemed which you can say in like a uh, they're going to get teleported up you know in in modern terms which you will say now right we're going to get caught up into the air all right, we're going to be translated. All right, we're going to we're going to receive a new body. So that second death, the, the two thirds, I mean the one third, so like the one third, they're not going to take any part in the second death, but they're actually going to be brought up through the fire. Now, also that fire is talking about that purification, the hell that you got to go through. Okay, because you got to you got to uh, you got to go through all the turmoil right to receive the reward. This is how the Most High set it up for our punishment, right? That the hell that you got to catch, you know. You got you to just deal with it, all right? And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. Yeah, how how, do you, how is silver refined, and how is gold tried, all right? It's put through fire, 
All right, and, and fire, affliction, all right, that's not fun. It's not, affliction is not fun, man. Who wants to feel who wants to feel weighed down every single day? Are right, you never you you've never had a, a peace of mind? All right, the only peace of mind that you can get here is through the scriptures. That's the only peace of mind that keeps us going, that hope. All right. But in 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 a, in a physical in a in a physical fleshly term, even if you deal with a woman, man, you can't fully enjoy that. All right. You know that she can leave you at any given time. She can press charges on you, call the cops, call Esau on you, lock you up, take your children from you, all right, put you on child support, all right, or just put tear hell on you, always screaming, yelling, just being a just being a demon. Go out, commit adultery on you. <laughs> Alright. So come on. You know? Come on. Are you serious? This is what this is this is what it is, man. This is what uh this is what uh the hell that we have brought down to. This is how low we have been brought down. At the same time, the Lord he, he's refining us, man. He's saying, forget all that, man. So I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a uh, hundredfold. Okay? And that's the type of mentality that you have to have in this truth. You can't have a worldly mentality where you hold on to worldly possessions because all flesh is going to be dissolved the scriptures say what manner of man ye ought to be knowing that all these things shall come to pass um paraphrasing in second peters all right because all this all this is going to pass away are right, the current power structure that you see today under the so the rule of the so-called white man is going to be totally done away with all right we're going to go back into the way that the most high has created all right. And it's very hard for our people to understand that or receive that because they have been totally indoctrinated in the lives of America. They have become as the Romans are. Right. How they say it in Rome, when in Rome, become a be a become a Roman, do as the Romans do. All right. This is the same story that the, the Greeks and the Romans were doing when they were trying to make everybody like that unto themselves. So our people have are having the same mind frame unto themselves, a mind frame of the Romans, of, of the you Americans. You have been totally Americanized, right? But the Most High, He's going to Israelize eyes, or how He's going to bring us back into uh, the mind frame of being an Israelite, so to speak. All right, I'm making up words now. All right, so let me uh, let me go back, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call upon my name, which is the name Yahweh Hashem Yahu Shai, all right, which is important. All right, so if you're not calling upon, upon his name, man, you're not going to be saved. And I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. Yeah, that's right. So the Most High, he's going to, um, he's going to uh, bring us back into that, to that, that, that state that we that we once had under King Solomon. All right. And King Solomon is, is Yahweh Shai, if you should, if you can receive it, you know. So I just wanted to do that uh, quick highlight on the, on Revelation, the, 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 the verse where it says, uh, "Death, death and hell were cast into the lake of fire." Once again, the lake of fire is the is a vision that John the Baptist saw of America being totally on fire, and he was seeing that through the firmament. Okay, all right, he was above the earth, and it's going to seem like America is going to be a, a lake of fire. All right, you're going to have water around it. And you had a, a lake of fire, you know, and death and hell was cast into it because all the hell and turmoil that we have to go through, all right, is going to be going to be done away with in that in that in that death. The death we're not going to die anymore, all right. So it's going to be a very very uh, beautiful kingdom, all right. We're gonna we're gonna be with Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is going to reign, and we're going to be with Yahweh Shai, all right, forever, all right. And the Most High Yahweh Shai, Shai, he's going to be our power forever, all right. He's not going to forsake us. But we're not going to forsake him, all right. And it's going to be it's going to be lovely, all right. So that's that's what we have to that's what we have to uh, we have to keep in mind, all right. And we have we have, we actually have the best gift <laughs> that in, in 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 the whole entire world, man, in the whole entire world. And the Most High is preparing that uh, he's preparing that uh, that that king for 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 us, all right. The Lord said, Yahweh Shai. Let me bring it out. Let me bring it. Out. I don't want to quote it. I'm, let me bring it out real quick. Thing is escaping me. I see. Oh, it's a scripture. Slacky, slacky. I thought I had the scripture in my mind. 
but I believe Yeah, this is it. Slack, slack. This is John 14. John 14. I'll start at the top. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High. Believe also in me. All right. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. All right. So the Lord, Yahweh Shai, he's preparing the kingdom of heaven for us. All right. So that's our hope. Our hope. Our hope is in Yahweh Shai that he's preparing that kingdom. All right, he said he's he's doing it. All right, all right. So this this is what we believe, and and this is why we we keep pushing. I would keep pushing first and foremost because Yahweh Shema Shai commanded us to keep pushing. All right, <laughs> that's what it comes down to. He said, keep pushing, be a man. All right, and at that time, the Lord He's going to strengthen you if you ask for the strengthening. Okay, so with that, hope brother edify with the lesson, quick lesson. Um, Again, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there doing the work in truth and serving. All right, Shalom.